Now in the weather department, a beautiful sunny Saturday in the Valley. What's in store for the rest of your weekend? Pamela? Amanda, we will continue with the sunshine and warm temperatures. Lots of good news for your seven-day forecast also. First of all, let's get to some current temperatures right now. It's very mild outside, 52 degrees. Doesn't feel too bad out there. Humidity is low enough that we aren't seeing any cloud cover. And we're going to continue the evening with very clear skies. So a good night to go out and stargaze. Winds are very calm out of the south-southeast at 5 and that barometer is holding steady so we will continue to see dry conditions. Temperatures all across the area. Mattoon still at 60 degrees. Bloomington at 49. Now there is a very, very small chance for an isolated thunderstorm moving in for tomorrow night. And I'll have full details coming up a little bit later in weather. Amanda. A community in crisis as budget cuts close the county jail. In Jasper County, Illinois, budget cuts force the Sheriff's Department to cut 30% of its budget. That means inmates will soon be housed in another county. Officials say they were forced into this decision because the state refuses to give funding. Now, the jail won't be completely empty. One dispatcher will still take calls, but if half of the staff gets cut like expected, calls coming in will be prioritized, meaning officers may only respond to situations involving bodily harm. This sunny Saturday was a perfect day for a spring bike ride if you got out and enjoyed it. But careless biking and failure to follow safety laws can cause an accident. News Sense Louisa Muller shows us how to play it safe while riding your bicycle. For some people, there's nothing like a spring bicycle ride. Oh, this is perfect. Nice and cool. A little windy, but... But forgetting to follow bike safety laws can result in a dangerous accident. A lot of times people on bicycles, either they choose not to obey the law or they simply don't know. So I'm out here to show you safe protocol for riding your bike in the springtime. First of all, I have my helmet on just to protect me in case I fall. And then when you're biking, you should have both hands firmly on the handles. Here we go. Bikers are under the same laws as cars, meaning they have to stop at red lights and stop signs. They also have to bike with traffic, not against it. And when crossing train tracks, it's a good idea to dismount your bike and walk across. Law enforcement officials encourage bike riders to be polite, too. I mean, you have an elderly person or a young person walking down the sidewalk, they may not see your speeding bicycle. So it's more about being courteous riding on a sidewalk or an alley than it is about being uh, dangerous or inappropriate. Some ways to keep you safe while you're out enjoying your bike. Reporting in Terre Haute, Louisa Moeller, News 10. Officials also recommend riding without headphones so you can hear traffic around you. For a complete list of bike riding laws and guidelines, you can visit our website at WTHITV.com.